Yeah, so it's, a, it's called Clever Boy, um, but the best way to sort of see it is it's a smart ocean boy. Um, so it sits off um, the coast of metropolitan beaches, um, for example, and has a sonar unit which sits on the seabed. That unit is basically scanning to detect sharks. Um, in the actual boy itself is a CPU um, and some software that's designed to kind of process that data and make a clear identification. So within sort of microseconds, it can identify if it's a shark or not, then send a message from the boy to the satellite network, and then back to a lifeguard to basically do something about it. Um, one of the biggest problems with, um, I suppose, shark detection um, and also alerts is really the sort of kind of management of whether it actually is a shark. Um, but the whole thing started um, with a brief from Optus, who are the second largest telco in Australia. Um, where they simply wanted to make the intangible tangible, which was a story about their network. And um, the whole agency worked together on um, coming up with, I think it was something staggering, like about 80 ideas. And this is the one that rose to the surface. Um, and then working with Google, um, we helped the client sort of see um, how this could become possible. Um, but what's really interesting about it was the fact that there was a lot of risk involved in the sense of it was, had to be proven and a, a lot of iteration and technical testing to make it possible. So Optus basically uh, are the champions of the whole thing. I mean, if anything, um, it's not possible without um, their support in getting this done, funding the research, funding the prototype. Um, but ultimately the fact that what this does is it shows their network in a completely new light. So um, with most telcos all around the world, there's a, there's a battle for supremacy um, based on network coverage or many other things. Um, whereas this ultimately shows how useful their network is um, and creates a completely new way of looking at it. Um, and in this instance, can help Australians have a safer experience with the beach. Um, the thing you have to note is that 85% you know, of the population lives within about 20 minutes of the beach. So it's very much part of people's lives. Um, so doing something like this allows really Optus to sort of take a higher ground um, and um, play a a really important role in people's lives. Google's role really was to try and put digital and technology at the heart. It wasn't necessarily using Google products and platforms to deliver it. Um, Google Circles has, um, Google Plus Circles has become a really interesting option to use as part of the beach. So as far as technology is concerned, obviously the shark mitigation systems guys are really at the heart of the sonar technology. The circles really provide an opportunity to communicate different messages to different groups of people privately and add groups and circles to that as part of the G plus product. So it becomes more utility based instead of more social media based. And what we love about that is it could then send messages and, and, and information to research to researchers, to government, to councils. And that's really what excites us about using Google Plus. Google normally works uh, later down the pipeline, so the ideation's already done. Maybe the media plan is just being presented and we sort of come in maybe a little bit too late in the process to really try and make sure that digital is at the heart of the solution. And so this has been a truly transformational way of us working as well, to start from the very, very beginning, before the brief's even written, to partner and to really collaborate. And it's not going to be a one-size-fits-all. It really depends on the agency and the brand, but we're really excited about where this can take us to do these types of collaborations in the future. Thank you.